Hello, it's Reverend Jo here. It's really good to see you. Uh, welcome to our video for Collective Worship. I know some of you have been watching these at home and that's fabulous uh, and I know you, that you've been watching uh, with parents and other adults in the house and that's great too and I hear that some of you even like to choose a hymn to sing, a song to sing off YouTube and some of you like to light candles and uh, just make it like it might be at school so that's great, thank you for doing that. But this week some more children have been going back to school so it might be that you're watching this in school uh, and if so hello it's lovely to see you i'm sorry i can't come in yet to school and see you but i look forward to doing that soon and i hope that you're having a really great time back with your friends and your teachers i know the school will look a bit different and feel a bit different but i'm absolutely sure you're having an amazing time so it's lovely to see you let's light our candle as we do at the beginning of worship Jesus is the light of our world. Jesus is the light of the world. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. That's what we're talking about today. We're talking about Pentecost and the greeting that I just gave. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. It's a clue uh, to what happens at Pentecost. I wonder if you can remember back to our last video uh, when we were talking about Jesus ascending back to the Father in heaven and leaving his disciples on their own and saying, just wait, wait in Jerusalem and something amazing is going to happen. And that's the story that we're listening today listening to you today. Pentecost was a festival uh, which happened 50 days after Passover uh, and so that means it's 50 days for us till, since Easter. And uh, the Jews were gathered in Jerusalem for a big festival, a big party, and the disciples had been waiting for a long time. And it wasn't just the 12 disciples who'd followed Jesus, but it was other men and women too. There were about 120 of them gathered together in a room waiting for something to happen, waiting for the Holy Spirit to come. So let's have a listen to the story and see what happens. This comes from the book of Acts which is the next book in the New Testament after the four Gospels. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and then the next book is Acts. And this is what happened on the day of Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came the sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. If you ever heard the wind blowing outside when you're safe inside, perhaps it rattles the windows or the doors. And that's the sound the disciples heard, a great rushing like a sound of wind. And then divided tongues as, as of fire appeared among them and a tongue rested on each. So it was like fire had come, but not fire that burnt anybody up, just like tongues of flames landing on each one of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. So as the breath of God, Jesus' Spirit, arrived inside them, suddenly they could do something that they'd never been able to do before. They could speak in different languages. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and they were amazed because each one of them heard them speaking in their own language. Everyone could understand. It was like Google Translate happening on uh, in front of them. Everyone could understand what they were saying. And what do you think they were saying? Well, they were talking about Jesus. They were talking about him as God. They were talking about the things that he'd done and how he died and risen again from the dead. Not everyone thought they were good or it was exciting. Some people thought they were just mad, they were bonkers and some people even suggested that they were drunk. But then Peter, Peter one of Jesus' disciples who was a fisherman, who had tried walking on water and got into trouble, who'd uh, not been able to uh, really stay faithful to Jesus, he denied Jesus uh, just before Jesus was crucified. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, suddenly becomes so brave and he stands up and he speaks to all the people who were gathered in Jerusalem and tells them, no, they're not drunk. This is exactly what Jesus said. The Holy Spirit was going to come and fill them. And now they can tell the story, the good news about Jesus. And that's what Peter did and the disciples did too. 
So the Holy Spirit came. And it came like an enormous sound, like the sound of a rushing wind. Wow. And it came something as fire coming. And my, I have a special stole. If we were in church and I was dressing up in my robes, um, I would wear this stole for Pentecost. And you can see it's got the flames coming up like the tongues of fire that rested on the head of the disciples. And it's got a cross there for Jesus. And then at the back, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, just a tiny little dove, a dove to represent the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the breath of God, God with us, all around us, inside us, outside us, above us, underground, uh, beneath us, everywhere, behind us, always around with us. We don't have Jesus, a person, with us anymore on earth. He's ascended to go back to be with his Father. But he's given us his spirit, his breath, his life. And so God is with us all the time. So when we talk about God being with us, that's what we mean, the Holy Spirit. We can't see him, but we can feel what he does. Gives us courage, gives us gifts we never knew we had, gives us the fruits of the Spirit, gives us the knowledge that God is with us, whatever may happen. So it's kind of like being filled up with the power of God. Now I found some, I was looking for a balloon, I couldn't find a balloon, but I've got some bubbles. And this is a really good way to think about the breath of God. So if I breathe into the bubbles, what happens? all filled with breath and that's what God does when he fills us with his Holy Spirit we're filled with God's breath with God's power with what with God's love with God's peace all the gifts that God gives us we can be just filled with so let's have another look see if it works again wow fabulous so we're going to use our bubbles to pray with today Lord God, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Give us your peace when we're worried. Give us your courage when we feel afraid. Give us your love when we feel that people don't love us. Give us the power to do amazing things, to take care of each other, to love each other, to find out about you, to pray. Fill us with your Holy Spirit today and every day. Amen. Have a great week. It's lovely to see you. Perhaps you can blow some bubbles outside and see uh, as they bounce on the, on the breath of the wind and imagine you being filled with the Holy Spirit at the same time. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.